Hello and welcome back to our channel. Now in this video, we will tell you how the cast of Planets of the Apes 1968 has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back in 1968 and now in 2022 and how they've changed compared to when they were on the show. Alright, let's go. Roddy McDowell, in the movie he plays as Dr. Cornelius. He was 40 years old in 1968 and it was with great sadness that Mr. McDowell had died from lung cancer at his home in Studio City, California. He died on October the 3rd, 1998, at the age of 70. No. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, Cornelius. <laughs> Always a leading woman. You know, I'm making myself clear. Absolutely. Or Myrna Loy or uh, Maureen O'Hara, they were um, Charlton Heston in the movie he plays as George Taylor. In 1968, he was 45 years old and it was with great sadness that Heston passed away on the morning of April the 5th, 2008, at the age of 84. Where are your women? Thank you. Thank you for calling me Taylor. Dr. Zayas, I know who I am. But who are you? How in hell did this upside-down civilization get started? She got over it very quickly. It was a matter of moments, almost, before she said, OK, we'll go ahead from here. Maurice Evans, in the movie he plays as Dr. Zayas. In 1968, he was 67 years old, and it was with great sadness that Evans died on March the 12th 1989, at the age of 87 from heart failure due to a bronchial infection. Be ordained. In a way, you did the state a service because you made it possible for us to expose Zira and Cornelius. Is my son-in-law a warlock or not? You won't get angry? I reserve that privilege. Kim Hunter, in the movie she plays as Dr. Zira, in 1968, she was 46 years old, and it was with great sadness that Miss Hunter died in New York City on September 11, 2002. She died from a heart attack at the age of 79. Well, and what do we want this morning? Do we want something? A, a call from 20th Century Fox uh, saying, uh, Miss Hunter, uh, how tall are you? James Whitmore, in the movie he plays as President of the Assembly. In 1968, he was 47 years old, and it was with great sadness that Mr. Whitmore was diagnosed with cancer and died of the disease at the age of 87. On the 6th of February, 2009, in his home in Malibu, California. Hey, you had instructions to clean up the beast. Now these rags he's wearing give off a stench that's offensive to the dignity of green but you can eat the uh, petunias yeah. good i was worried about that because you're the man you mm -hmm. are and you are the yes. mr do you, you have can, a green thumb i didn't notice that down. i do have two of them james daly in the movie he plays as dr honorius in 1968 he was 50 years old and it was with great sadness that mr daly died on july the 3rd 1978 from a heart failure in Nyack, New York, at the age of 59. There's a charge against him. Objection! This exhibit is indeed a man. Therefore, he has no rights under eight law. I think that what we've just heard from that young man is the voice of the future. I strongly suggest we listen to it. Lou Wagner, in the movie he plays as Lucius, in 1968, he was 20 years old, and now he is 74 years old. Looked up on me while I was feeding the horses. What's happened to honor? I got off two rounds to warn you. Hours of makeup, sitting in the chair. So that's, that's what it was like. But it was so exciting for an actor. 
Linda Harrison in the movie she plays as Nova. In 1978, she was 23 years old, and now she is 77 years old. Yeah, that was the one with、um, Walter Matthau. Yes. Very cool. Did you say Cocoon? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cocoon one and two. Yeah. Norman Burton in the movie he played the role of hunt leader. In 1968, he was 45 years old, and it was with great sadness that Mr. Burton died on November 29, 2003, at the age of 79 from a car accident. But Cartalian, in the movie he plays as Julius. In 1968, he was 46 years old, and it was with great sadness that Cartalian died on May the 24th, 2016, at a hospital in Mission Hills, California, at the age of 93. That bright eyes is remarkable. He keeps trying to form words. You know what they say: human see, human do. Woodrow Parfrey in the movie he plays as Doctor Maximus. In 1968, he was 46 years old, and it was with great sadness that Mr. Parfrey died from a heart attack on July the 29th, 1984, aged 61. A man, Doctor Maximus. I know it's a man, and you know the rules. No animals allowed outside the compound, and most especially not without a leash.、Uh, Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing the next videos.